Well, let's continue this uh, villager hunt that I'm doing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for uh, clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Possums, we're outside. It's usually around springtime they come out. And one thing they just love doing, <laughs> particularly around where I live, they just crap everywhere. Everywhere. Specifically on mailboxes. I don't know why. But they just seem to like to do that. I guess because they perch on top of them, I don't know. A uh, possum? They're different to the American possums. They're, uh... They don't have, like, a rat's tail. They're... They're more furry. Really? Yeah, take a look. Have a look at an image of an Australian possum. They look very different. Like the uh the bush tail. That's a good side by side, actually. It's like. <laughs> you know how they have regional Pokemon? This is like Australian possum. You know? It's our regional Pokemon. Like, for those of you watching at home, the left. You might be familiar with the right are the Australian ones. So the right ones are the ones I'm talking about. Can we switch? No. <laughs> they don't look intimidating at all. They they do hiss. It's an elephant. Dizzy. Can't... Can I see the rest of Dizzy? That's... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> like I said, I'll know it when I see it. Ooh, we got. I hope this is the island where this. Let's just see. No, it's not. The easy way the easy way to know is just if other bugs appear. But yeah, they are uh, they just crap everywhere here. did learn something gnarly about the way they eat as well as they have to digest food twice so take that as you will
Oops. Oh man, my my Twitch notifications just aren't coming through on the bot anymore. Well, thank you for the follows, those that did it. <laughs> I am so sorry. Jeez. I've had to fix this bot like every second week now. I don't know what's going on with it. I might swap to a different one. understand that it's announcing other stuff but it's not doing that I don't know something must have broke it's so weird that twitch just doesn't do that either like, just put it in the chat. No, you have to open the dashboard thing. Hey, look at this streamer not acknowledging the follows. Uh, I guess I might have to just put up the, the dashboard thing so I don't miss that stuff. I broke it? Yeah, that's me. I didn't do anything, but it's me. But that's fine. I'll get another axe. Produce, that's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. 
I think I'm out of tickets now. Now I gotta start buying them. Money. Still a pretty decent amount just for those two. Oh, Pico's out on about. I think I need to just hang out on the island just a little bit, because the balloon. That one's been on the board for a while, and I feel like I can do that one pretty easily. I just need to be here. I just keep going indoors too much or off the island. I got my ticket. Please tell me this isn't watered. Okay. Tent to flowers, easy. These are all the flowers my island had. Just... I shoved them all. Customize items, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the fishing just so I get a chance to get the balloon. I'm surprised it hasn't asked me to go get coffee. Which way is the wind blowing? Does the wind blow in a certain direction? It does? How can you... How can you tell? Sometimes I feel like hanging out. Oh, duh, 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 I can't. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, you springed it out of nowhere. I'm busy. Look at the chimney. I thought he wanted to move out. <laughs> it's, it's one of the villages I want to move out. It's just, this mouse has a look. Of just skepticism 24-7. Probably sleeps and has that same look. Even in his dreams, he is skeptical. Can't believe what he's hearing. Mm. 
why the cat is. I don't know. It was what was on sale. It's Halloween. I want to be whimsical. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Pick any one of those reasons. So what, does that mean the balloon would come from this way? It's a very subtle detail, but let's see. I don't know, does one need a reason to wear cat ears in a game? In real life, it's just, well, that's another story. No reason, just curious if there was one. Well, I guess the reason is just I thought it looked funny. Like, it kind of matched with the suit. What? Ah, what do you mean? <laughs> Why didn't that bounce? <laughs> what? What do you- what? <laughs> Why did it go into the rock? <laughs> what the hell was that? Physics, why you betray me? They took a page out of Pokemon's book and just said, fuck it, too hard. Let's just delete it. <laughs> Fade to black. I thought that was just gonna bounce down. Well, at least it's off the board now. Okay. I'm gonna sell the fish and go to the next island. I just wanted to progress the Nook Mile so there's multiple options. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I forgot to put the wood away. I probably should. You never know when you're gonna get an island where you... You catch a bunch of bugs. Probably not exactly the most effective way of doing this. I've definitely gone through less islands. I just noticed that. Nice, that's another ticket. Makes you wonder how hard it'd be to make up. 
on me. There's clothing, there's Mario clothing in the game. I can dress up as Wario if I want to. I have the full Wario outfit. They did it for uh, the anniversary of Mario. Forgot what anniversary it was, but one of the big ones. They just added a bunch of items, including the pipe. I just get the pipe because it's useful. It is very useful. So I've run into Colton twice, I've run into that... ...that octopus twice. The o I mean... Oh, it's Money Island. Nice. Oh, there's a... Pashmina. It's a goat. So here's the thing. If I go to that island, I'm going to get immediately bitten. What are the... What are the odds... That I jump across. And I don't get bitten. be a hell of a, a maneuver if I do it. Okay, so it has to be vault across, immediately press X. Vault across, immediately press X. I can't believe this. Oh, look at that skill. <laughs> That's big money right there. More ways than one. Centipede is not worth much. I thought it might have been worth a bit, but it's not. No, this is great. I'll be able to pay for another two things on Harv's Island with this by the time I'm done. See? So while the thing that happened with the present was really unlucky, look at this. This is just how chaotic my luck is. Oh, 
I just hope the shovel doesn't break <laughs> before I'm done. I will customize the shovel so then it doesn't break. Very good. If memory serves me correctly, this isn't going to have a bug on it. Alright, let's just get the wood. I think I've run into that goat before as well. Why am I running into villages twice? I mean, okay, it's bound to happen, but it's happened with several. I feel like I'm looking for a shiny Pokemon or something. Out of 400 villagers, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's an easy one. You know, that would be a way that N Nintendo could up the ante, is have shiny versions of each of these villages. Like, maybe one detail about them that's different. Slightly different color palette. Uh, just on top of the 1 in 400, just add that level of detail. Just maybe they wear different clothing or just something about them that makes them even rarer. on here. Very profitable island. I have about 40 minutes and then I gotta do mass crafting. Maybe even less, because I need to give time for me to craft what I want to craft. Ah, oh, what? I'm sneaking. Oh, hello. <laughs> Extra value beetle. Oh, there you are. 17,000 bells, insane.
should probably deposit some of this money. I have a good feeling about this this next ticket I'm gonna use, just watch. It's good things are gonna happen. That was an accident. the customization kits. Shovel. And that so it doesn't break. It's a specific fish now. Dice. Uh, okay, customization kits. Dice isn't bad. That one's pretty easy to get. Thanks for the 37 months. How's it going, dude? See? That's so weird. I know, but I guess that's Twitch announcing that. I don't know. My bot's broken. It's not announcing follows. Hot item, right? That's what we want. This hopefully is a dice. Thirty-seven months is a long time. It is indeed. It's a lurch. I have a few people that have been around for quite some time. Roaming. Flick was here earlier. Who has been here the longest? Ah, uh, that's a, not easy to answer. Because I know someone that's been here ages, but they're not here that often. They turn up every now and then. Once in a blue moon. But then there are people that have been around for a shorter amount of time, but then I hear them more often, so it's just... Shambles bot. Some, there are some people that out, uh, outlive Shambles bot. I never had that bot, always. Where's Fleck? Am I going blind? Well, what's up, man? Uh, 
Oh, there you are. I must have walked past. That's your answer for who's been here the longest. Oh. I guess when you put it that way. Balance, balance, balancing out, like, amount of time on stream and the amount of time followed, probably Nick. I think there's a way to actually find out, like, highest viewing amount. Like, the bot does track that, but... I mean, the, provided it's running at the time, let's see. People are that curious. Where is it? Okay, and then do in terms of... Can I do in terms of... Hang on. I used to have viewing amount, but it doesn't seem to have it. Oh, never mind. It used to have viewing amount, but it doesn't have that anymore. I guess I got rid of it. Doing alright, you got stuck watching chiropractor videos and now you want to be crunched. How'd you get stuck watching chiropractor videos or did you go down a rabbit hole? Apparently you're a crack at it because you like hearing the cracks. Right, but <laughs> it's like, that's fair. It's just, I guess, somehow you landed on that topic. Oh, what, when my younger brothers were, were a lot smaller, I used to get them to walk on my back. You're also living vicariously through him because your back is destroying you. Yeah. Do you sit down a lot? So I'll tell you, ever since I got this ergonomic chair and got rid of my gamer chair, I have not had any sort of, uh, like, wanting to have my back cracked sort of days. You think those gamer chairs are comfortable, but I think in the long run, a lot of them aren't that great. What chair do I have? I got it off Amazon. It's like this thing called the Ergo Tune. You can rotate the armrests and swivel them around completely. So, like, if you're drawing, for example, you can make it support your wrists and everything. And it just. The back of it goes along the curve of your spine, which is a good thing. Just get any chair that does that. Just adjust, adjustable to your curve of your spine, and has armrests that can fully swivel. Neck rest, or just yeah, things that naturally go with the shape of your body. Who are you? Oh, it's like a woodpecker. It's a bird. I don't like the eyes. 
to get a better chair. Um, uh, go with uh with an E. But yes, that I got it through a Black Friday sale. Six hundred dollars usually, but for Black Friday I got it for like a third of that price. I did not pay the full price for it. It was, uh, I forgot how much I paid, but it was definitely not 600. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It was pretty heavily discounted. It's worth it. That's the thing. It's, okay. If you believe in sleeping on a good mattress, you should believe in sitting in a good chair. Especially if you sit down a lot or work. A lot. It'll go on sale on Black Friday. It always does. Like, I had this chair for two years. It went on sale the year I got it, and it went on sale the year after. So, most likely it'll be on sale for Black Friday. Not sponsored, just genuinely get anything that is... Damn it. Get anything that just has those parameters in it, you know? It goes with the contours of your back naturally. It's adjustable on multiple levels. Height, neck, back, you name it. And most importantly, just don't get it. Don't get a gamer chair. Most of them are just. They're, I'm not saying gamer chairs aren't comfortable. I'm not saying gamer chairs aren't comfortable, but like, what changed my mind about them? A friend of mine put it this way: was, would you rather trust a chair that's designed for gamers, or would you rather trust? chairs that have been designed so then companies buy them so people can sit in them and work for as long as possible without feeling discomfort. And when you put it that way, I was like, yeah, you know what? Ergonomic chairs are probably designed so then people can keep working. And for me personally, it's made a difference, for sure. You keep seeing this one adjustment called the Y strap. That's all you want in your life. The Y strap? Why does that sound wrong? I think my brain's just in the gutter, but it just it just sounds wrong. You know? I think this is the island that has uh, water bugs. Yep, it is. So, I'm gonna take the time. The only thing I will say this chair doesn't have is a footrest. So if that's a deal breaker... But, you know, it's designed in a manner so you can sit correctly. And when I'm playing games as well, it's just nice to rotate these armor so it fully supports everything. I think my favorite thing about the chair is the, the armrest, to be honest. Just... You know when you come across something and you didn't know you needed it until you had it? Well, that's one of those things for me. The swiveling armrests are just the best thing about this.
But again, probably not unique to this chair, like, shop around, but just, I guess what that chair offers, that's what you should be looking for, in my opinion. In terms of what it has. I sat on a kitchen chair <laughs> when I moved out, and then the chair I bought was a gaming chair, so... Yeah. I got a good mattress and I got a good chair. And immediately I was like, okay, I just quite clearly have not been a functional adult. My priorities have been in whack. For a brand of shambles ergonomic office chair, you'll buy the shit out of it. If I ever got a chair deal, it would be with an ergonomic chair. It would not be a gaming chair. If I'm going to shill something, it's going to be something that I truly believe in and would use myself. I could- you, oh, you know what? Just what I could do, I could get one of those sew-on patches made. You can buy that and just get any chair unbranded and just stitch it to the chair. As long as it's a good ergonomic chair, I will approve. Wow. Knowing me, if I branded a chair, I would make it say, this is a chair, and then with my logo on it. <laughs> That's just how I am. You already got your brand, but we don't talk about it. Yeah, right. Have you actually purchased one of the their products out of interest, Lolo? Just to have for shits and giggles. So this is the part where it's like, you know... I've, people have told me that they have shown my content to a younger audience at times, and this is the part at which I'll be like... Okay, you know, this is probably a conversation that I'm about to start that admittedly might not be suitable. I don't know. It's not the fish I need. I'm trying to get the, uh... The... The dice. You don't know if there's something that you can get that would require more explanation than it'd be worth. Maybe you could find an open-minded friend that would buy one for themselves and then you just ask if you can have the packaging, the box. So then you have the box that has the logo and everything, but you don't necessarily have the product. I feel like that would be more normal. 
And say you'd even subsidize the cost of said product for them. It's just, I guess, how do you have that conversation? I just don't like the eyes. Peck looks like they're about to shoot lightning from their hands. <laughs> I always feel like just straight up saying it, just like, hey, does anyone want a uh, subsidized product? Well, I mean, he... Alright. Without beating around the bush, but there's a brand of dildo that, um... is... named Lelo, which is what... what we call, uh, Lelogical here, sometimes. So, just, you know, he'll buy you... he'll buy you the product. As long as he gets to keep the box. Serious offers only. <laughs> Should put that up on the Facebook marketplace or something. <laughs> it's just... Ah, oh, that's asking for trouble. I mean, someone might agree to it if you if you're friends enough with them. It's like, yeah, hey, just give me the box. And it's if when you explain it, it's funny. It's not like you're being weird. It's you're just being funny. It'd be a completely different story if you were if you wanted the box, but there was absolutely no connection to the brand or the name or anything, it's just... You just want the box for some reason. That would be creepy. I know the moment I jump across that this thing's gonna go away. Reminds me, I need to look for, uh... Oh no, but it stung me, didn't it? Yeah, it stung me. So, it's not gonna be here. But the furniture should be. Conversation thread. <laughs> Just from chairs to uh to non chair objects. <laughs> it's a reputable com company with many different SKUs. That's uh a very polite way of putting it. Well, still, the offer would still stand, as, as long as you get to keep the box. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you. 
Okay, uh... If you're ever a big streamer, you have to contact them, you just have to. <laughs> For what, like... a brand deal? Or just, uh, hey, hook me up. Okay, I need to go home and construct quickly. Sell some hot items. Brand deal for short. <laughs> yeah, I mean, stranger things have happened. Some streamers have done... Who did it? I think it was Ludwig that did it, but partnered with a company to make bidets. So, you know. These deals can happen. Sure, Twitch would love that. <laughs> Bye, it's what you do doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure there are people that are sponsored by Pornhub, as long as you're not showing porn. So what if your sponsor's an adult company? There's nothing particularly weird about bidets, you don't think? There's nothing particularly weird about adult toys, unless they are, uh, themed in a certain way. <laughs> But your standard adult toy, there's nothing... There's nothing wrong with them. It's just when they start getting crazy with design that, yeah, you, you might be able to question them a little. Define crazy. No. <laughs> I'm ending that com- I am not drawing any lines in the sand. I don't mean crazy as in you have to be insane to use one, it's more just... Crazy in the sense of non-standard. I gotta do these ones quickly before... Uh-oh. We're not talking about anything. <laughs> Just... If we were to talk about ice cream, I would say anything that isn't the vanilla flavor. How about that? Because that's where, yeah, people have their tastes. People have their preferences, and one can argue different things, but at the end of the day, it's like, flavor's flavor. Vanilla is good, though. There's nothing wrong with vanilla. You're being reminded again of how much the internet has ruined you. You wish you had no clue what I'm talking about. Yep, don't worry. We're all on the ship of degeneracy. Oh, I guess I'm gonna do the sell item thing with, um, Flick instead. That's fine. I mean, just in case. 
just in case. See, this is, a, this is exactly why when someone says, oh, that they were watching my stream with someone of a younger, younger audience, and they're like, ugh, but, like, sometimes dildo talk. <laughs> <laughs> or stuff of that nature, like, jeez. And I can't- I can't remember what I talked about in every single game. It's just a landmine just- it's there. Someone's gonna step on it. Hi, YouTube. No, I don't think... Well, I don't know. Admittedly, I have been better about that stuff. I feel like I don't swear as much as I used to. You haven't heard the old C word in a while. That's because YouTube hates that word. So it's now reserved for special occasions where it's just like a, a reflex. that an everyday Aussie word? Not really. It's... It's still... See, it's still very improper to say that, you know, in a place of business, but when you're talking amongst your friends, it's known that, you know, it's not a big deal to use that word. It's a term of endearment, but you would certainly not say it at school or at work. It's everyday in, in that sense. It's just not as severe. Also, hey, Nectar. <laughs> yeah. I picked something that I thought was amusing. Okay. Go with the shovel. Damn, it's a cooking one. I don't like the cooking ones. I need to start getting a move on with these islands. Have I ever heard of Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich? Is this a joke or is this for real? Either way, no. No, for real? Okay. What is it? Not familiar with the life and times of Elvis. Peanut butter, banana, and bacon. Why- why have I heard that before? 
It must have been referenced in something, but I've heard that before. Hold on, I have I have a theory. There's an episode of Johnny Bravo where he does a peanut butter and banana sandwich. That's where I've heard it. I was like, I swear, I, I, I didn't want, I didn't want to say it before checking it, but. Yeah, it's an episode of Johnny Bravo, but I guess there's no bacon, but the peanut butter banana combo. I've heard it before. And I guess Johnny Bravo does have Elvis mannerisms. Peanut butter and banana is a pretty common combo. I'll just have bacon in there because America. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Wait, this is someone else, June. But uh, I have a bear. I have Pico. This oh, damn it. This is a good choice. But ugh, I don't want to double up. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I, I know you're not going to be happy with me, but like... I have two quals, if I had two bears, it's just... Hmm... This is definitely gonna be a case if I don't take this villager, I'm gonna regret it. Koalas are technically not bears, so I'm good. No, no, but I have Pico, who is a bear. That's what I'm saying. I would have Pico and this character. How many miles do I have left? Uh, 26,000, so there's still a lot. I'm not exactly running low. But by all... Like, this village is a good choice, I think. It's just, I don't want duplicate. Even with the koalas, I was like, eh, do I want two of them? But I just couldn't help it because the koala was called Mel Melba. So I gotta represent the hometown. I needed that. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Alright. I know people are gonna be unhappy. I'm, this is this is a repeat of last time. Where I got 
a perfectly good villager and I said no. But I'm gonna just roll the dice. I will most likely get punished for this decision, but... Last time we ended up with Pico, so... Maple. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is Maple all over again. Yep. Okay, I mean, what species would it be? Let's let's see. Because I guess that's the other that's the other thing, right? It can be a mouse because I can replace this mouse. I'll tell you what species we. So let's see. It can't be. It can't be a koala. Can't be a ram. Can't be a fox, wolf, whatever. Can't be koala. Can't be doggo. Can't be bear. Can't be cow. Slash ball. I don't think I've ever seen a rabbit. There are rabbits in this game. I don't think I've ever seen one. I haven't seen many ducks either. I haven't seen cats. I need Carrie. No idea who Carrie is. If I haven't browsed the villagers, I'm just winging it. Well, the only cat I've seen is a uh, kid cat. That was from the uh, the original island from 2020. One, guess what animal carry is? I have no idea. Oh, there's pigs in the game. That's right. Forgot about pigs. Let's say pig. She's a kangaroo. Oh no, then I'm not gonna have the kangaroo. The, I don't like how they look. My, uh, I, I've, sorry. My Australian has been covered by, uh, by Alice and Melba. They, they represent Australia. Have Melba, yeah. Toasty. I wasn't going to take Melba until I saw the name. I was like, okay, this koala is clearly named after Melbourne, and then it hit me. The koalas are named after Australian cities. At least most of them are. That's pretty much the reason I, I said no to June, because we have it would have been Pico and June, and Melba and, uh, Alice. It's just... Too many duplicates. I'm 
Okay, let's see what happens now. They may have just gotten Money Island again. No. Sort of. Oh. It's a monkey. At least the monkey. Can you turn this way at least? Have I eaten any offal before? A couple of times, not a fan of it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm good. You sell some at work and curiosity grows each day. I mean, here's the thing. It's not that off-putting because in Australia we have meat pies and meat pies generally are made from organs and stuff. Particularly the cheaper ones. So it doesn't really bother me that much, but it ultimately depends how it's prepared. I think just how it's prepared can mask out what it is. But the other times I've had is like, there's certain soups that have that. And I just wasn't a fan of it in that circumstance. Excellent. This is what I want. I mean, try it. it... Haga sounds rough just based on the ingredients. I mean, sausages are basically intestines. The skin's housed it. It's... Haggis is similar. I think... Awful, it's a texture thing for sure. More than a taste thing. I don't know, our resident Scotsman isn't here today, so wouldn't be able to confirm. from Scotland. Uh, viewer named Seth. He's not around at the moment. I have a pretty equal split between Europe and America, audience-wise. Not a whole lot of Australians watch me. <laughs> but I think it's more fun that way. Yeah, Seth, Seth has worn kilts, yeah. 
the authority. <laughs> Stretch. <sighs> Kilts look comfy, not gonna lie. They probably are comfy. I don't know if it's something that when you get older you just start making louder sounds when you sneeze and stretch. Like I never used to make sounds when I when I stretched. Old man noises, yeah. It's okay. You feel like regular clothes are designed to specifically to suffocate your jewels. You should see some of the uh, Australian underwear commercials. They're pretty funny. They get a sushi chef to explain. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, this will happen naturally. Oops. Well, that... that did not work. Okay, so I like twenty four thousand miles. It's still fine. Nothing concerning yet. gonna go drop off this junk. Wait. Finding a whole shirt is hard nowadays, is it? <laughs> I guess so. It's kind of in the same line of finding a pair of jeans that aren't like they don't have some sort of cosmetic damage to them, just for style. But I guess that's become less and less of a thing. Before a while, it was just like, can I just get jeans that aren't pre-torn, please? Or pre-scuffed? Like, I can do that myself. That always tripped you out about female clothing. Can't fit a quarter in your pockets like why? Yeah, I've never understood that as well. Like, why the lack of pockets? Or why... I guess so it's a more slim profile? I guess... 
with a pocket, it doesn't hug the body as much. I don't know. It's supposed to be sexy. <laughs> I would love a brand of jeans to just come out and just do a whole ad campaign where they say, you know, pockets can be sexy. And it's just all these provocative poses, but it's just focused around the pockets. They'd sell pretty well, I think. Go to the island. I have been doing this for a very long time. Oh dear. You'd think I would have learnt my lesson from last time. The amount of shit you end up having in your pockets when you're at a bar or something with female friends. Yeah. In winter, because I wear jackets and hoodies that have pockets. They just get... Yeah, they become like portable storage at that point. I think your record was four phones and three wallets. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I think my record was two cameras. Is that Anacardi? You know, before cameras were part of phones. It is Anacardi. The cannoli. Yeah. Unfortunately, this counts as a duplicate because she was in my new leaf town. Looks very different here. HD Anacardi. I still haven't had a cannoli. It's something I want to try. Wait, what? <laughs> I just saw the bottom sentence, cries and... Not square booba, I'm like, not square booba, and then I read the rest of the sentence. Just store, storing bone in bra, I mean... Uh, it definitely was a common thing. But I mean, you can choose to not have a big phone, you can get phones that still let you do that, it's just, you like the big phones. At a certain point, like, we abandoned the whole tiny phone thing, and now people just want things that are basically a laptop <laughs> or a tablet. I, I like the idea of foldable phones, but they're just way too thick. I have a, a couple of friends that have them and yeah, I just, I can't. I think conceptually they're cool, they just need to be half the thickness of what they currently are. 
They need some bad curved ones for comfort. <laughs> a curved phone. So then you can put it in your bra. Like, is it really that big a deal that you sacrifice pockets just... <laughs> okay, but explain to me why so many of y'all carry around half the known universe in your purses, though. <laughs> This is turning into like a comedy special where it's like, what's the deal with purses? It's just low-key a Jerry Seinfeld bit. Do you know what the absolute most insane thing I've seen carried around in the purse? S someone pulled out some maple syrup out of the purse. Just a whole ass bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> I mean, okay, like... I guess if you're if you really want maple syrup like you and you want a particular brand and I guess you have breakfast off and sure but it, just imagine you go out for coffee you're with some friends you're sitting down and then someone reaches into their purse and gets out a bottle of maple syrup and the question gets asked, wait, did you put that in because you knew we were coming? And then the response is, no, I always have this in my purse. It's fun for bridal show party game. What do you mean? Was the bottle opened or unopened? It wasn't a new bottle. It was like a third of the way through. Oh, it's the what's in your bag and you get points for each item on the list. Gotcha. Sounds like a sticky purse. Well, the, I guess I didn't even think about that concern. The bottle seemed pretty secure. I don't think it was one of these ones that would leak everywhere. It seemed pretty sturdy. Core memories of your grandma asking you to grab her keys and you'd find three brands of ginger candy and throat lozenges, never find the keys. <laughs> In your teens, you had a big bag and used to sneak Taco Bell into the movies. Okay, but that's, that's handy, that's different. Am I sure it contains syrup and not some other brown liquid? What else would it be? We're having breakfast. <laughs> what? 
syrup. You fit two large soda drinks in that bag. That's impressive. Whiskey? Why would you pour whiskey on your pancakes? Like, guys, she used it on breakfast. Unless she loves the taste of, like, liquor on pancakes. Like, I know, I know it's, it's even funnier to take it to the extent of, you know, she was just that batshit insane. That much of a raging alcoholic, <laughs> she just had to douse her, her pancakes in liquor. But I promise you it wasn't like that. Put it in storage because it can be used for cooking. You recently learned some other psychos fill their camel bags with vodka at music festivals. I don't know. I, I learned of, um... Of, like, uh, bras that let you store liquid inside them. And then you can sip out of, <laughs> sip out of them if you want to sneak in wine or something. So to hear like a, uh, a camel bag with vodka, that doesn't surprise me. Because, I mean, it's something that no one would be able to search, so it's a pretty easy way to do it. Are we back to adult toys? <sighs> I mean... It's... Just... It's a bra. It's not... It's just clothing. Not sure how you'd feel if a woman offered you a straw from her bra. I mean, it would be like a... Like a tube. <laughs> I, d I don't know, I haven't seen it. Just Google it, you'll see it. I would imagine it'd be like one of those hats. The helmet hats that have the beer cans on top. Except it's concealed. <laughs> Nick does like, nice of you while you said what's to complain. Yeah. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. you. You look very royal. Lionel. He looks old. Looks very old. Looks like a king. Very royal. Very regal. Thinking about it. <laughs> you make it sound like a bad thing. It's like, ew, he looks old.
Okay. Well, uh, it's, uh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know. Should I? What's the consensus on this lion? That's everything. Got the what? So got the furniture. Okay. You'd be lying if you said who you don't like him. Okay, so I'm just leaving the lion behind then. I mean, given the mired reaction. <laughs> no one was like, oh my god, it's Lionel. <laughs> there was no extreme reaction to it. You know nothing about anyone in this game. I don't either. Not to be, like, you know, completely superficial, but we are kind of going by look here. One more. It's just to do the nook mile thing. I just appreciate that I'm seeing new ones. Okay, DIY projects. Alright, I'm deciding no. How the D4 updates saw me on earlier. Oh, yeah. I was just checking that out. Uh, they've changed the pace of it. The leveling process is 40% quicker. Um, I haven't quite hit the point where it's like the season content, but it does feel better in some regards. Like they've done, they've done a massive patch because they kind of had to. The uh, the player base went to uh, shit. Oh, I need to go to see flick. But I mean, it's fun. I was considering doing more on Discord after this, but we'll see how this, this goes. Um, there's actually some late game content now. Sorry. 
Yeah, how's uh, how's your day going, Hawaiian Orc? You're curious, but you're having a hard time willing yourself back to that game. Oh, I can understand that. Like, even I have my reservations. But one of the things they did <laughs> was just... Those stupid, um... What do you call it? Objectives that are in dungeons, they got rid of a lot of them. So a lot of dungeons now are just... Get to the boss. Fight boss. And the power system seems to be interesting. And now uniques can actually be found. <laughs> you can target farm. So there's bosses you can go do specifically to get certain items. Hopped on Animal Crossing, all your villages remind you that you hadn't been on in three years. Oh, that must have been a guilt trip. I mean, I'm away for three days and they're like, Oh, we used to have someone in our town that looked just like you. Down to it. Uh, there's no panic yet. It's when it when it gets below 10k. That's when it's like, well, I need to make a choice. But yeah, when it comes to D4, I just decided not to stream it anymore. Because I have I have critique about that game, but um. People that are very, very much fans of Blizzard don't appreciate, so. And I know if I play that game, if I come across something that I don't like, I'll point it out, so. I'll still play it, it's just more probably be in a off-stream setting or maybe on Discord where it's like a limited audience. The positive thing is I can listen to music and stuff on Discord, at least. Blizzard still has fans, yeah. They fixed resistances, resistances actually work now. They still haven't fixed their storage stash thing. Chat, you would not believe the bu some of the bugs that game has. <laughs> oh, man. Used to be one, don't trust them anymore. I think that's a good attitude to take. It's just... I didn't play their games until way later. But the same can be said about anything. It's just, you know... Sometimes... Things change and you can't keep holding out for them to go back to how they used to be. And I think that's the case with Blizzard, is like, people love the games, and I can understand why. I love a lot of their games too, but that being said, I recognize their output in the last 
almost decade has been questionable to say the least with it with the exception of a couple of games and it's just i don't i don't know i guess i don't have the uh the nostalgia so it's harder to talk about but i i let go of the fact that yeah they're gonna do what they used to do ace it's a nice bird thinking about it. You struggle to care about Diablo 4. Too much of a grind for 2 to reward. That's one of the fundamental problems with the game at the moment. Um, so with the grind aspect they've cut down the time it takes to get to level 100 by 40%, which is a lot. And then the items, while still there's problems with items, at least now the uniques, there's a way to hunt them down. So you can look for uh, specific items now, go fight certain bosses. That's... It's not... <sighs> so that's the thing, it's like, it's not good, but it's getting better. I guess that's the way I'll put it. Like, at least they're, they're trying. But that game really needed another year in development. No, the, the problem was... It's like, uh, and I, I said this pretty early on, was I saw it that it was going to get to a point where I would just, I don't know, like it just fell off. That's the best way to put it. You reach a certain point and it's just like, well, you're not really caring a lot too much about what's happening. And it was a weird thing, because usually those games hook me. And it's it's just purely how the items are designed and how they work. It's just not as good as other games in that franchise. They're improving it. You know, but it'll get better, but it's, the game is definitely not what I thought it would be. I'm happy to play it. And if people want to play it with me, all the better. It makes it easier to play the game. If I can put it in terms of Animal Crossing, because, you know, <laughs> there are people that enjoy this. It's actually very similar. It's like, people that love this series, when this game launched, they had a lot of critique towards it, saying that it just didn't feel as full, and it just was missing things. When you, Especially when you compare it to New Leaf. Like, I finally understand that critique after playing New Leaf. And I think Diablo 4 is the same. It's in that same vein. It's like, what preceded it was better. And it kind of feels cut back in a lot of ways. When did Animal Crossing first come out? Uh, in Japan on the Nintendo 64, everywhere else on the GameCube. You want the nightclub? Yeah, the nightclub was good. This is a very, yeah, this is a very old series. It's been around for a while, but I think its popularity, um, definitely since the pandemic just skyrocketed. It was like the perfect game. I had always heard about it, but I never really tried it. I guess the thing that always put me off when people described it to me was just the whole... Things happen in real time. That was the thing that just 
I couldn't make the leap. And then when the pandemic happened, I was like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I guess things happening in real time, that's great. I got all the time in the world. I mean, Lola, if you're down to check it out, the patch can hit me up. The leveling process is not too bad. Although, right now I'm playing it on the PlayStation. Just because I'm running out of storage space, so... I just need more people to play Diablo 4 with, and then I'd play it more. The pandemic and severe lack of things to do Soldier New Horizons as well. Yeah, it was the perfect game. Honestly. And shit, given the state of Melbourne at, at that point, oh man. Harvest Moon is great, but it's just... From what I've heard of that series is... Now the name Harvest Moon isn't good, and... Yeah, Story of Seasons is the one to look for. But, I mean, Stardew just... yeah. I'll always love, uh, Harvest Moon, but Stardew for me is, is peak at the moment. I'll be curious to see how Haunted Chocolatier goes. Sorry, just liberating something. You love Tarzan because you could lose your animals to sickness, whereas Stardew doesn't have that. See, so you like the realism. But I mean, you don't lose your animals to sickness, but then you can also get knocked out. Oh, that's a peacock. I could replace, um... I mean, Phil has to go, but then it'd be kind of ironic that I get rid of Phil to get a new one. I might, yeah. I think, I think we're gonna go with Julia. And then we'll just kick Phil out. I think we- I think this is it. Yep. I mean, I know the irony is like, oh, I'm gonna say no to Phil. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say yes here. And then just kick Phil out. Is it the way she ruffles your f her feathers? What do you mean, the way she ruffles her feathers? 
What? She's a peacock, that's how they get mates. Okay. I just like the colours. Peacocks are loud as hell. Technically, if it's a girl, she would have a dull colour palette. You know what? That's correct. Because the whole concept of peacocking is the male thing. I mean, that's fine. I feel like if I don't... This time, this is definitely a case of... <sighs> yes, I'm going to end up with two of the same animal, but I'm going to get rid of Phil anyway. Crap. Phil was just, I guess, I didn't have a choice in picking Phil, so it is funny. My choice is going to be another bird. Okay, but this is definitely for the best. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to Harvest Moon. It's like, it's fine. Sometimes you can love games and have a high degree of nostalgia. There's nothing wrong with that. My lo- I mean, I love Harvest Moon, but I, admittedly, I don't think I've played it as much as, like, some. And the version I played probably wasn't the one that was adored by a lot of people, but I liked it. I played the Game Boy Color game. And then, uh, uh one of the PlayStation ones, I forget which one. But there was a remake of it. Come to my island. You're quite serious, I remember right, you're from Shamblonia. Could be quite the adventure, of course you would be there. That settles that, I'll move. Best decision ever. Wonderful, I'll start preparing to move right away. But how to proceed, I wonder. A simple call to this Tom Nook fellow from Shamblonia should suffice? That I can do. I'm so glad I came here today. Who knew this one trip would change my everything? Life is funny like that. Sometimes it hands you a present out of the blue. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm happy with this decision. Just gotta kick Phil to the curve. <laughs> curb. And now I have to grind a bunch of miles for the final two, because I need to kick two more out. Okay. Well, the cool. I didn't get down to, uh... To panic numbers this time. I do find it funny that the first villager I ran into today was one that was similar, but I said no, it was red. But this. Yeah, I like. This means I might be able to play some Diablo and or watch Kitchen Nightmares. It's 
tonight. Yeah, I mean, I was going to. It's still early. Am I watching the new season? Yeah, I just learnt about it. So. That's what I'm gonna do. In Discord, I mean, if people want. Either way, I'm gonna do it, so it doesn't... Ugh, it doesn't change much for me. It's on YouTube, so... It's not like... <laughs> yeah, it's on YouTube. Episodes are on YouTube, so... It's pretty easy to find it right now. Diablo is a no-go. That's fine. I can watch Kitchen Nightmares. Hey, MCS. How's it going? Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy with the decision I made. Now, I guess it's just a matter of kicking out the two that I don't want. It is funny how this worked out, though. I mean, okay, it doesn't look that similar to Phil, but still. It's just an upgrade to Phil. That's all it is. It will be strange to have them both for a while, but hopefully within the next week it'll bring up the speech bubble and then I can look towards making one of them move out. Phil plus, yeah. New Phil. Then now I will really, really... Because, okay, one of the villagers I want that I know of is Scoot. But I just haven't made an effort. Because I, I think I'm going to save it till the end. So now, since this process is, could take a while, now I'm going to really save the Nook Miles up. And work towards it. So, if the last slot is going to scoot, I have one more villager I can get. Do I have any quick ones I can do? Uh, crafting, water produce. Okay, there's a few I can do. They're pretty easy. I have all the time in the world now <laughs> to get the the nook miles. Um, what's something easy I can craft? I usually go with medicine. 
because that is pretty plentiful. The next thing I gotta do is, like, I guess it's once the flowers are done. Usually do bait. Yeah, I'm too lazy to do bait, but bait's a good idea. I just want to do a couple more before I wrap up. Because we, we have something we can watch. And I have been <laughs> looking for a villager again for like four hours, so... But this time I, I think I did better. I succeeded. I didn't cut it close. Um, and I'll cook. I think the olive flounder is usable in a recipe. I just forget what it is. Can watch in Discord. I mean, raise your hand if you want to do that. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Recipe, recipe, where is it? Sea bass, mackerel, dab. Oh, it needs a mushroom. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'll just go with the peach. I've made it so many times, but it doesn't matter. If they stack, that's a good way to condense. Yeah, I mean, there's no different to a stream. Except that voice is enabled for, like, some people. Ones that I trust. And it's more casual. Does pause. Yeah, does pause. I just made two by accident. Do they stack? Oh, that. Okay. Well, that one I'm definitely doing. That one's easy. No, it doesn't stack. Yeah, okay. That's the disadvantage. Where would it be in lo- Uh, there's a thing called Discord stream. Oh, no, wait. Hang out. Specific- Oh, you'll see it pop up. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Sucks. Because one of them is like a stage where I control everything, and then the other one is more casual. So. I'll do this tomorrow because it could be easy. Well, next time. I say tomorrow. It most likely will be tomorrow. <laughs> but. Okay. In storage. In storage. I can't believe they don't stack these. So, I guess I need to sort out what I'm doing outside. I'll just say this so then I have my train of thought and I can think on it. But I need to divide this region. Um, this house is going to get moved tomorrow. And then this river will get restored, 
and then from here I need to divide this part of the map, and then I need to shift around the houses until I get the houses where they need to be. Um, and to do that I'll probably have to fix the west side of the island, there's just so many trees there. But I'll have to figure that out. But the north side is, is looking pretty good. Just... Yeah. Alice will be here tomorrow. Pico will have a private bridge that goes with the house and this thing. So I guess I'll move the other house up here. This is Audie's house. Okay. That's the loose idea for now. And then... I'm pretty much going to do more of this as, like, lit, just mark out rectangles or I'm like, alright, in this area, I'm going to do something, but I won't know what. So I'll divide the town that way into, like, a grid. And then I'll just be like, alright, let me do something in this space. That's my plan. It's not a theme or anything, it's just how I'm going to approach it. And then just however I feel on the day, I'll just do things. Kind of like this, right? Like, I'm going to put something here. And probably something in this area. But that's my train of thought. Alright. It's a very long run thing. <laughs> okay, well, if you've reached the end here watching on YouTube, thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the village of Han, even though it was split into two parts, but... I mean, I don't know, I, just watching a five-hour VOD. <laughs> I know people do that, but I like to keep things brief. Hope you understand. Uh, yeah, we'll do more of this soon. Uh, if you want to support the channel in the meantime, easiest way to do so, click those buttons, particularly the ones that have that thumbs up icon on them. Helps out a lot. Thank you to those that do do that. Or you can watch one of my other videos that have probably popped up on your screen by now, assuming I remembered to do the thing. Yeah, till next time. Bye, YouTube.